I work on hurricanes, I work on earthquakes, I work on tornadoes and floods and a lot of other natural hazards. Geography is really important because we have to have maps that communicate very quickly what happened. I'm a senior physical scientist with the Federal Emergency Management Agency, uh, FEMA, and uh, my name is Gene Longenecker. You've got to care about geography. In the intelligence world, to understand that something happened is very exciting, but it really isn't valuable unless you understand where it happened. I'm the president of the United States Geospatial Intelligence Foundation, and my name is Keith Masbeck. When I wanted to be, geography was very much a two-dimensional subject. Now with Google Earth, you can fly in to a city. I'm an economic analyst at the Environmental Defense Fund, and my name is Ola Shea Andrew. Being an explorer is basically being a, a geographer, because you're trying to understand what our world looks like. I am a polar explorer, mountaineer, and expedition guide. My name is Eric Larson. For me, the crux, where there are so many things that can go wrong despite your best efforts. On an expedition, I really rely heavily on a map to better understand where I'm traveling and knowing if I need to get here, some of the obstacles that are, are in the way. And that means that Shea Fayangi of New Jersey is the 1996 National Geography Bee Champion. Studying geography makes you more appreciative of the world as a whole and of being a global citizen. And if you have from an early age been accustomed to thinking of yourself as a global citizen in addition to an American citizen, um, then that really gives you an advantage. By simply understanding the physical geography, you have to truly embrace and understand the human geography as well. And that provides things like culture, history, religion, language, ethnicity. Where a hazard occurs and where people happen to be is something that's very important. We need to know if it's a big earthquake and it's been shaking a lot, did it shake a bunch of people? An earthquake that happens out in the desert doesn't shake people. Once we're on the expedition, from the field, I can send an email that sends out my blog post, a picture, and my uh, GPS position, my latitude and longitude, and that goes right into a Google Earth layer that marks that on the map. So people can zoom into Google Earth, they can see my route on Everest all the way up to the summit. It allows us to be able to understand our planet and be connected to one another in a way which we've never been able to. The highlight of my career was certainly what we did in support of the aftermath of Hurricanes Katrina and Rita. To take all these systems that we had built for national security purposes and apply them to be able to guide rescuers to their door in time to save them was absolutely uh, a wonderful, wonderful thing. When we think about the geography bee, it shouldn't just be viewed in a vacuum as like a childhood hobby that just sort of ends there. I think you really sort of look at it as a um, path that can lead you in a lot of different great directions in terms of your career and in terms of what you think of.